Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and this one is really exciting because I'm going to be setting up my Hinin Baie A5Y binder. I'm so excited because their new comeback is literally in like less than 10 hours or something and I can't control my excitement so I'm going to do this right now to just think about Kepler <laughs> and comeback and stuff. So with this I'm going to be putting in all of her cards that I have so far from First Impact which I've actually been able to collect almost all of them. Um, I'm just missing two, so those two are the ones I'm struggling with the most, but I have pretty much everything that I plan to collect for her, um, so far, which is really exciting. Um, now we just have to start all over again, basically, because Dubless is coming out, and honestly, I'm so excited, because Up sounds so fun from the teasers, and it just sounds like such a cool summer comeback, so... Um, I heard the teasers. I really like all the songs, to be honest. It really has the vibe of music that I like. Like, I'm just super excited. And the photo cards look so pretty. I love the outfits they're wearing. And I just think they look awesome. So, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to have this, um, finally all set up on pages as well. And looking through all of my cards and kind of planning out the pages, I really like how they turned out. Um, for example, this first page, look how cute! Um, I have her brown haired cards with the headband, her blonde in the middle, and then we have these ones back here. And then here you can see the backs, we have the colored backs, and then the black backs on top. Um, here I did this kind of organized by which ones um, had similar concepts. So. For these ones, she had, or like the same, similar outfits too, is what I meant. Um, she's wearing all the same outfits in these ones. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> one of the ones I cannot find um, or was unable to join a go for was with fans and YZY. Um, but yeah, those are, that's pretty much the only one I wasn't able to get. Tower Records are these two right here. This is with drama. This one I like a lot. And then with fans obviously missing. Um, this is music part. And then this is M Wave. M Wave is so cute, honestly. Look how cute this is. <laughs> she looks so adorable. Um, and then these are the backs. I didn't love the backs on a lot of these. I thought they were kind of like. I don't know. I just didn't love them, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, so next we have this little setup. This one's here. I'll try to remember everything. This is the other one that I'm not missing, but I haven't gotten yet. This is MK Media. Um, I'll try to um, say all the names of every single one that I put in. This next one here is Apple Music. This one is Music Korea. I really like this little ring she has on. Um, next, this is Jump Up Entertainment, I think. Then here we have Soundwave. Um, and then here we have Make Star. Okay, I'm back for a second. I had to check the names. This one is Maka Shop, which the back of this one is literally so ugly. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it looks so much like a freebie to me like it doesn't look like that much of an official card but I still think the card on the front is really pretty so we obviously got it but yeah I just did not expect it to look like that on the back um next this is this is music and drama this is um the music cart lucky draw hopefully i'm saying all of these right but it's a lot of cards and then this one is m2u which this one i ended up buying off of someone from us mercari and it was a little bit overpriced for my taste but you know i was only missing three cards so i was really desperate and then or actually only two and then this is K-Town For You. And this is Hot Tracks, which I wasn't even sure if this was going to show up. 
and this one is actually really overpriced right now like it goes for way too much I don't know why really but I luckily got it for like a normal price <laughs> but currently that's my issue with YZY is I cannot find I have a couple of cards um, extra that I could maybe trade for it but I haven't been able to find a trade yet and yeah it's just been a bit annoying dealing with that so here's the last two these two are from second I think is how you pronounce it it's from their makeup collab um, this one looks like this it has cute little signatures and like I don't know if you can see oh my god there's her signature um and a little qr thing i don't really know what that means but we're just gonna put it in these ones are like lucky draws too so that's the one the orange one where it's a more far away picture is the first tier type one where this one you had to spend i think a bit more like buy a couple of things to be able to get these type of lucky draws and luckily i didn't overpay too much for it <laughs> Um, it was only like 20 to $30, I think, which was a really good price because I saw them going for like 50 and I did not want to pay that much. And then this was her magazine card, which actually I'm going to take it out real quick so that you can see like all of it. But it's really, really cute and it has a really cute signature and she has little hearts and like this message. I don't know what it says, but it does say I love you guys in English, so it's so cute. Um, this is one of my favorite ones. And then I was just going to keep my, these two, which have my top two biases, um, Haya and Chaehyun, but I did decide just to keep all three because I thought it looked nice in the binder this way. Um, but these ones are cute. They say Kepler debut first anniversary. Um, so they're really, really cute. And that's everything. Oh my gosh. You guys want to see a little flip through? Anyways, here's what we've got so far. Her album cards. I already listed all of these. But I think it looks really nice because she's wearing all the same outfits in these few. These are the only ones that she's not wearing, like, similar outfits. They're from different performance, like, stages they did. Um, then that one there. These ones. These ones. I think they look really pretty. And then all of the, like, non-album stuff so far. Um, they just did some, like, random merch stuff that was with, like, little fan cafes. I join goes for them. I'm definitely getting the photo cards that come with a, um, like, there's a collect book they're selling, and it comes with an OT9 set, so I'm definitely getting Kia's for that. Um, however, there's, like, two drinks that come with different Polaroids that I am gonna try to buy. There's also some like random cards that there's two of here that I'm trying to buy. And then there's also these um, ID card case holders, which the cases are cute enough themselves. So I really just want to get the cases too, but there's a photo card where it's random and you can also get a member. So I'd really like to get Hia's for that as well. Um, but I'm not going to put that as... I'm not going to like set up for that basically because I really don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to secure and I just don't want to feel like that I have to secure all of it. Oh, also let me show you guys my one other photo card of Hia. This one I keep on my shelf next to my signed album, but yeah, this is from Beat Road, I think. Just looks like that. So that one is also part of her collection. So here we're just going to add some pages. I actually have a little thing set up here. But there are eight photo cards, but there's also a clear photo card that is like a member specific one. And there's a clear deco photo card that has like a deco border that's specific to a member. So yeah, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to do this right now. I have some... Um, Japanese size matte sleeves and then I also have these sticky notes which is kind of funny I have them in literally the two colors for Dublas so yeah we're just gonna do that right now so okay I'm back I made some fillers they're not like super pretty or anything but 
there's some fillers and we're just gonna set up for this comeback now I'm not gonna do anything that special like as far as um like making specific things I'm not sure so I thought maybe I could do this where I do like two on each page and do like a scatter setup um but I don't know if I want to do that anymore just because of how many cards maybe if I do it this way um I might do it like this and then this And then, hmm, we also have their deco card and their clear card. We'll do it like that. There's that. Next we have, um, how to do it first the blue version first so i'll do the blue version first again for jewel case um version one i don't know um let's see we have um i'll put k-town for you here and i'll put make star here for now that and then I'm going to just add one of these. I'm also gonna add Sanara S24 Aladdin Star River M Wave Star River and then we'll add Sony music. There we go. Anyways there's also Tower Records which this time around I think they're doing two Pobs per member plus you can get a like Polaroid which they're not like Polaroids that are um, undisclosed photos so it's just like an actual Polaroid printed of your member and it's like a somewhat limited card because it's a pre-order thing um, so I haven't actually pre-ordered for any of those so I didn't put that in yet because I might just buy them after the fact even though it'll probably be expensive but <laughs> I don't know how sorting and everything would go with that anyway, so. Unless I know someone who can secure, like, sets of it, I kind of would like to just wait a bit. Also, I usually buy off Mercari Japan, and that is a Japanese card. So these are the pods I have so far actually, um, like, secured in sets from people. So this is what we have so far. There's three pages. I'm sure there will be more. Like I said, I know there is um the tower records pops and i'm hoping they do some pops for the jewel cases because i haven't bought any jewel cases yet but if a store does pops for the jewel cases i'd like to order them there so um yeah we have blue version one and two yellow version one and two and then the deco plus the clear card then we have the blue jewel case version one and two yellow jewel case version one and two and then at cave town for you make star Sayonara, Yes24, Aladdin, M-Wave, Star River. These ones I all have already like pre-sorted because they were bought in OT9 sets. And then Sony Music I have not gotten yet, but I put this here so it fills it up. But yeah, obviously Tower Records, once I plan to get that, and once they announce more pops, obviously I'll be adding more fillers. But this is what we're at so far. I'm really excited for the new comeback, and I'm glad to finally have my bio collection displayed and like stored as it deserves to be in a cute and nice way so that's me just flipping right back but yeah everyone go stream the music video because it should be out by now um or in like a few hours so be excited for Kepler's new comeback it's gonna be so cute and fun and I'm just so excited um for the girls to be back because I've missed them so much obviously they were on Queendom and they did amazing, but I'm so excited for group activities and probably some show, um, them showing up on a couple, um, like little shows and stuff, as well as maybe more catch up and like their little, um, fun stuff. So everyone have a nice day. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my setup because honestly, I don't see that many Kepler collectors on YouTube. So 
Hopefully this was fun for you who do collect Kepler and don't see a lot of content on it. And happy comeback to the girls. Love you guys so much. Bye.